Look at these beauties. Himalaya, Green Irish Tweed, Original Santal, Viking, Millicent Imperial, Erolfa, Aventus, Armaf Siage, Silver Mountain Water. What? What's going on here? Hey everyone, it's Peter from Central. If you're new to this channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. If you're back, it's good to see you again. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designer, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell nice, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. And now let's get into our new fragrance from Armaf. It is no secret that the world loves Creed. In the fragrance community, we all love Creed. I love Creed especially. I think the dry down of many Creeds is just superb and the fragrances are of top quality. And of course, the best, because of that, the best fragrances of Creed have grown an abundance of clones. And with clones, as with anything else on the planet, some are good and some are not so good. And of course, with batches changing because crops change in the world and fragrance notes become more expensive or less expensive, people, you know, the perfumers have to go and source them elsewhere, the batches change. And sometimes we're stuck with a newer fragrance of something that we really love and it might not be as deep or incensey or fresh and fruity as we would like. And it is no wonder that many people, many fragrance enthusiasts go out and seek a clone for many different reasons. One is because the price has gotten too high of their fragrance that they like, or the batches have changed and you like it more deep or more light and fruity. And so you go and seek a clone for a way lower price. Because the batch that you loved is now only available online, you know, fragrance groups and so on, and it fetches a pretty penny. So I understand what's happening. Me, I'm not really usually a fan of clones. I do like the originals in most cases better. However, in this particular case, I'm really glad I went and got this one. I do happen to have an older bottle of Creed Silver Mountain Water. Now this bottle is 2015 or 2016, so it's not too terribly old, but it should give us a good baseline when we compare the Siage by Armaf. But before we do all of that, let's look at the bottle of Armaf and see what we got. And now that we had a little look at the bottle, why don't we give it a spray and see how these sprayers on this particular Amaf fragrance Siage, how it sprays. Let's go. It's more like a tuft. It's not very strong and it's very, very, it sprays quite wide and it's more like a tuft. It's not like a at all. But as with this fragrance right here, you don't need as much as you would think. Now what I like to do with clones or something like that, if I'm doing a comparison between two fragrances that are very similar, it doesn't have to be a clone. But in this case, I guess our moth does make uh, plenty of clones for uh, you know, higher dollar fragrances. Uh, what I like to do is I'm going to list the notes of each of these fragrances left and right and let you kind of browse over them to see what the similarities of these fragrances actually are. What we can tell in this, in these two fragrance note lists is that our moth actually has 13 notes and Silver Mountain Water only has eight notes. But as we dive into the fragrance and you smell the Armaf Siage, you can tell right from the get-go from the spray that there is a stronger amount of citrus in there. In this case, it is lemon. In the Silver Mountain Water, the citrus notes are bergamot and they're softened by mandarin orange. As the fragrance kind of deepens a little bit or it progresses, what I've noticed is that the green tea note from the Creed will actually take a softer approach while the Armaf Siage stays more vibrant and more fresh. 
But if you're interested in a Silver Mountain like complete rundown, the original Creed, I will link it in the top and you can watch it there. Our Moff Siage will hold the combination of jasmine, rose and lemon for quite a while before it starts sinking into the cedar and sandalwood, the musk and the ambroxan dry down. Both fragrances, whether the Siage from Armoff or Silver Mountain Water by Creed, have a slight inky note that you can, if you take a deep breath, you can, it smells kind of inky. Although I think that the uh, Armoff fragrance is louder than the Silver Mountain Water. To my nose, it's almost like the Siage from Armoff is a colorful, vibrant picture and the Creed Silver Mountain Water is the identical picture with the colors just faded ever so slightly. When I take a whiff of Siage, it is like when you, the first time you smelled Silver Mountain Water, you remember the cholt you got from it because it was such a unique fragrance and Siage is like that with every smell, no matter when you smell it, how long you've been wearing it, when you get a smell, it's always like that first jolt that you got when you smelt Silver Mountain Water for the first time. It's quite impressive. So I wore Silver Mountain Water and I wore Creed Armoff side by side, one side this, one side that, throughout on a day to work uh, last week. And what happened, to me is I felt that the Siage by Armoff just was a little bit fresher and it was a little bit more youthful. While the Silver Mountain Water had something really classy about it, it was a, just a bit softer, it was a really beautiful scent, but somehow I just felt like it was a tiny bit dated. I got about eight hours out of the um, Siage from Armoff. I think if you're in the market for a Silver Mountain Water, but if you're strapped for cash, if you can't really go with the original, I think that the Siage from Armoff is a really good choice. And on top of it, it smells like the fragrance used to smell. Now my bottle is an older one, it's still very strong, but I hear that the newer ones are just not quite as saturated as they used to be. As for me, I think it is interesting that it took over 20 years to come up with a fragrance that smells as good if not just a little bit better, depending on who you ask, of Silver Mountain Water. I am very happy that I have both fragrances. I will wear the Armoff Siage when I need it to be a little bit louder, protect just a little bit more. However, I will also wear Silver Mountain Water by Creed because it's just a little bit more elegant and some days I just don't want to protect quite as much. Both fragrances are really good. If you're strapped for money, I think Siage is a good price. If you're able to afford the Silver Mountain Water, I would still go with Silver Mountain Water. Because after all, nothing beats the original. That was my review of Silver Mountain Water compared to Siage by Armoff 2020 release. If you enjoyed it or got anything out of this at all, please do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you on board. Thank you very much. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I'll talk to you soon. Until then, Central.